This is one of the biggest reforms that we started, not yet accomplished, but it's in progress. So what has been made on this way? First of all, we had to increase household tariffs to the market price. This is a very painful decision. Ukrainian people, they really feel the pinch. Okay? Complicated economic situation. A number of Ukrainian families are in a dire plight. Due to the war, depreciation, high inflation, and you know the government was obliged to make this step. So the previous and this government, we, we were, uh, the thing is that under the last resolution of the government, uh, we imposed a market prices in the Ukrainian energy sector. This was the first issue. The second one, uh, we entirely overhauled the system of the corporate governance in one of the biggest Ukrainian state-owned enterprises that I already indicated, Naftogaz. This is oil and gas company. The third issue, we, substanti we substantially decreased the deficit of Naftogaz. The fourth issue, we eliminated all these middlemen, all these vampires that have been sitting in Naftogaz. The fifth issue, on an open bid, we signed up a number of direct deals with the EU-based companies. Uh, the sixth issue, we decreased the gas consumption by 20% last year. The seventh one, we launched a large-scale subsidies program for those in need. Because could you imagine, you know, if you increase household tariffs and, and people just, well, people are unhappy, to be very polite. Mm -hmm. But the government is obliged to provide those in need. Seven million Ukrainian households got direct subsidies from the government. Put it in a nutshell, in case if you pay more than 10% of your average monthly income as a utility bill, so the government offsets all of the rest. And, the, and, and, and this was the way how to survive last winter. We didn't have any riots, we didn't have any social unrest, and we communicated with the Ukrainian people and we convinced them that please trust the government, we know that you hate the government, okay? <laughs> but please, get some trans trust and confidence in what we are saying and what we are doing. Then, uh, with Secretary Pritzker, we, last year we signed the roadmap. And the part of this roadmap, it was one of the uh, most important issues that uh, had to be resolved by the previous government, is to slash, uh, how you call it, it's not a rent tax, uh, a tax is royalties, right? So we slashed royalties in the gas sector by four times, in order to attract international investors and to increase the amount of gas which is to be extracted from uh, our natural resources, from, 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 from the Ukrainian companies. So my take is that uh, I missed. Uh, we, we brought Russians to court. In 2014, uh, we sent a claim to Stockholm International Tribunal, and we expect that by the end of the year, the court will rule out the final verdict. Uh, so I expect that in a 10-year perspective, Ukraine will be absolutely energy independent. And we won't buy any single meter of the natural gas, neither from Russia nor from Europe. 